Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone. Happy holidays, Easter, big Passover, Ramadan, whatever you celebrate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry and Hyman here, my Empowered Spirit Show, the energy focus for the week. How's everybody doing? What a beautiful day we had today. Yesterday we had storms, no power. Boy, did I throw a little hissy fit on that, no power. Yeah, it makes you think about it, right? But what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to really kind of reflect on who you are, what you're doing, what your path is. So welcome. Come on in and let's just focus our energy for the week. So on the Empowered Spirit Show, we had a wonderful guest from Australia. She was a lot of fun. Chris Franken and her book, Wild Hearted Purpose. And it was a lot of fun talking to her because, first of all, being wild in Australia, like that's like so cool, right? And she talks about that and her life there and really about, you know, like going out to Mother Ocean and just really asking like, okay, what's next for me and receiving messages and rewilding that spirit inside of us, like really taking a step back right now. That full moon was huge, so much light coming in, really reflecting. What is that wildness inside of you that you want to bring forward? And it was a lot of fun just talking to her, and she really likened it to a wildflower. So yeah, today I was out, I was looking at a new property, and I was out at the medicine wheel, and really thinking about the idea of a wildflower, and how they grow, even under the most drastic conditions, they come up. You know, you see them by the side of the road, you see them in fields, and it's really a very interesting thing to think about. And being spring here, looking at your own self. You know, what is that bloom for you going to be? You know, are you in the bud state? Are you afraid to open up? What is everybody going to say if I bloom? Right? What's the, what's the abundance for where you are right now? So it was a lot of fun talking to her. Check it out. And the book actually has a lot of interesting exercises and visualizations and things that you can do to really dig in deep to your own spirit and really recognize that new path for you coming forward. I know so many of us get a little afraid of that. New ideas, oh no, who am I to do this? And we do talk about that because the vibration and energy of fear, that fluttering, there's also a vibration and energy of joy and excitement and newness. And right, and it's really about like, you know, transmuting that energy so that you can release the fear and know like, wait, that's my power. So that you can bring those new dreams forward. And it's a really wonderful way to look at that aspect for your own self. I know so many of us right now, you know, feeling like I got to do the same thing, got to go A, B, C, D. And, you know, that doesn't always work. What we think is safety is not always the best path to go. So being able to look at the idea of a wildflower, not having to stay on that, you know, that straight and narrow to grow and bloom and develop into your own path. So really beautiful conversation. Yes, I really enjoy talking to her. She's a lot of fun. And just thinking about the wilds of Australia, for sure. So check it out. Big shout out to my sponsor, Forecast Salon, located here in Homewood, Alabama. Really a great salon. I love going in and get my hair done. She does some glossing, a little color here and there. She's really great. Bert and their whole staff, really dedicated to education, inspiration, and really giving you the latest techniques in hairstyling. They do have a new online store for their product, so you can find them at forecastsalon.com. And I will give a shout out to the Ritual Shelter. They're doing some reconstruction. I'm super excited. They are going to be closed this week as they get their Reiki room ready. Yeah, and I'm going to be teaching yoga there starting in May. Yoga for witches. I'm super excited to start working with the empowerment of our energy field and really helping those that have that idea of like that empowered energy of the goddess, the witch, however you want to look at it. So very exciting news coming from Ritual Shelter. Be sure to get on their mailing list for sure. So the cosmos this week, we're just kind of moving out of that full moon energy. I know last week it really got me. I know, well, it was this week, really. It really got me. Tuesday night, I didn't sleep. Wednesday, I woke up crying and just processing energy out, right, and getting rid of it and breathing in. I'm actually very grateful that I had a I had a session with my teacher, right? We all need sessions with energy teachers that really helped me process the energy and gave me some assignments to work on and some tips to help me sleep better. And you know what I was noticing, and we talked about it, the feeling of loneliness coming up. And really noticing there's a lot of people feeling that right now. And so I had some exercises to do for myself. And, you know, what does that feel like? And how can I find ways to really receive love versus feeling lonely and helping all those 
also too that might be feeling this as well and how do we connect to each other and how can mother earth help us so today even i know sitting out on the medicine wheel and just soaking in mother earth and just looking at all the ways in which loneliness can be transmuted again a transmutation of energy but this week it is about releasing that energy i'm gonna tell you you need to start grounding a little bit because towards the end of april we're gonna hit that second new moon we have two new moons in aries this month all right, we always talk about 13th. Well, this is where this one's going to double up. We also go into the eclipse season. We're going to go into Mercury retrograde. So things are about to shift up. So for now and this week, just keep focusing on doing your work. Don't get too much fire from the Aries, right? Let some of that out. We'll be moving into Taurus soon as well. And just prepare yourself for what we have. Now, I did read that we have like a really beautiful lucky day. Sun and Pluto come together. And we also have a lot of Venus energy, which is like love and romance and feeling that ability to really kind of open up even deeper to your partners and even to yourself. So it is a good week to kind of just work with the energy, work with that love energy. And I always like to say, too, with that Venus energy, like be creative, be in the healing arts, use your art. And really open up to a bigger part of loving yourself and receiving that love within you. So it is a beautiful week ahead. We're going to be feeling more and more in spring energy. I know we've had a little bit of hot, cold, hot, cold, rain, storm, you know, the whole bit. Good reflection of where we are in the world right now. So what is that reflection for you? So as you go to this week, as you go into this week, let's just take a moment and really just pull our energy in Focus that third eye and set an intention for where you are. So if you can, just take a moment. Calling in the sacred elements, calling in the fire. Feel that fire element coming in for you, inspiring your heart, opening up your spirit. I've got a little sweet grass here, a little sweet smell, turning to air. Calling in the element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the thoughts, clearing the space. Calling in the element of water to open your heart, receiving that, preparing for this week with Venus. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, pulling all your energy into you. Pull it in, pull it back from wherever it's been. Taking another deep inhale, spirit to spirit, opening up the body with your breath. Exhale, pulling that breath all the way back down. Slowing down, centering, inhaling, breathing up the body. Exhale, just dropping right into the heart. Right in the very center of the heart, feel that connection that you have. Your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved. Feeling all this energy coming in for you for this week. Taking another deep inhale. Affirming all the beautiful helping spirits around us, the masters, the teachers. Call in the archangels for love this week. Call in the crystal beings for amusement, amplification. Calling in your own spirit guides to receive the messages coming forward for you. Taking a deep inhale. And as you drop into the heart, what are the intentions you want to bring forward? Feel yourself standing in the direction of the east, here in this hemisphere, facing this east direction for the spring, where the sun rises each and every day. Allow yourself to open up to these intentions, calling in the directions to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above you, below you, right into the center of your heart and just release these intentions. Out into the world, focusing that third eye, for your path this week, filling your energy in, focused, grounded, taking one more deep inhale and exhale, sending the breath all the way down, bringing in this beautiful absolute light, streams of grace all the way down deep into the earth, grounding your energy, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. <sighs> Feels good to slow down. So the first card we have today is a beautiful card. It's the Hanged Man. And I like this, and kind of like we were talking about on the podcast, it's time to turn over, right? Turn upside down. Look at life from a different perspective. Use your inner senses to find the messages. Receive them in other ways, not in the ordinary 
find them in other ways messages spirit energy signs symbols but it is a time to surrender turn yourself upside down receive messages look how the crown is lit up here and notice what you can notice by pulling back a little bit all right slow down i think that's such an important message right you deserve rest you don't have to have a reward right I, my daughter sent me I, marissa sent me a mem this week that reminded us all we do need rest all right build it into your schedule all right the other cards that come forward six of earth so this is a beautiful abundance card six is harmony and building community it's two threes and this is earth so this is what you bring forward into the world so notice the growth in your life also it is about collaborating community all right some of that loneliness like reach out reach to your group Understand that what you're building has a heart to it and an energy of gratitude. I like to say gratitude when this card comes up. And even today, for whatever celebrations you may have had. And we have the daughter of air. She's the curious one, right? We look like twins right now in blue. She's the curious one. So it is a time to open your mind, to really expand the way in which you are thinking, change your mind shift, live for those higher vibrations. This is an innocent young energy. Be curious. Check out new ways of seeing things. And the mother of earth, the mother of air comes right behind her. So this is though, even though there's a lot of information, use discernment, right? Have the critical eye. Now don't be judging. Don't be too critical in yourself, but have a discerning eye for a lot of the information coming in that can help you Build that abundance in the work that you're doing and then bring in that new perspective for you as you go through this week. So it is a time to open up, to be curious, to notice what is good and then release what doesn't work. All right. We're also in that waning of the moon. Release what isn't working. Right. We don't always have to hold on to everything. We tend to want to hold on to too much information, knowledge and stuff. Right. Let it go. So just take a breath and notice in your own life, where can you shift that perspective and how can you move forward this week to guide your path in new directions you may not have even thought of. All right. Let me know how that resonates with you. If you'd like a card, I see some people have joined here and on Facebook, just let me know. I'll be glad to draw a card. Definitely check out the podcast. Really a lot of fun talking to her. And right now, let's see, I got the Energy Mastery going on. You can join. And the, we started our monetized class. It's been a lot of fun for sure. All right, Mark and I will take cards. All right, Mark. Mark, two of air. Two of air is about the mind. And it's also like when you have two ideas and you can't make a decision. So sometimes it's like, all right, let me clear my mind so I can make a decision. Or sometimes it also means, too, like more information is needed. So sometimes it's like, you know, when you feel like you have a little bit of like, huh, what should I do? Go in a little deeper and ask more questions that can help you clear this up. Now, we don't want to stay in indecision too long, but sometimes when you don't know what to do, pause. Get more information, more because heirs are mental. Get more information to help you make a decision. Marissa, we got the mother of water. All right, this is the intuitive one. All right, goes right along with the mother of air. But this is like the one that is very nurturing and loving. People want to come to you. They want to ask you what you are feeling, what you can intuit. All right, this is a big intuition card. Now, it also does remind us of boundaries and self-care. But it's a very loving and nurturing, and it's an influence. So where can you let that influence you as you move through this week? Opening the heart. I always love to say self-care, too. Be sure to take care of yourself as well. Hey, Ernest, how you doing? What is up for you? Ernest, you got the strength card. All right, the strength card is a really beautiful card. It's a major arcana. So it is asking you, and I like to say, like, maybe, you know, open up into the season a little bit more. Take a chance with yourself. It also brings in the energy of courage. Courage brings in the heart. So with the heart energy, it allows you, like, okay, let me be curious. Let me open up and see how I can step up to the things that I want to bring forward. We do have the infinite symbol above the head there, so there is a lot of possibility coming forward for you. Beautiful card. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, we got the Ace of Air, new mindset. I always love when this one shows up. It's like, all right, cut the cords on the old way of thinking. Open up to a new mindset. So, yes, Cindy, this is for you, the Ace of Air. Ace is potential. So what is the potential when you do shift that mindset and get out of the old way of thinking and let those old thoughts fall away and open up to feeling that newness. Look at the colors, the pinks and the blues. It really does open up the spiritual crown with this card as well. So what are those new possibilities for you? 
courage, yes. I love the courage energy because it does. It helps you step it forward. And I love how she sits on that lion, right? It's like, yeah, tame the fears, right? Definitely. I know I talked about that a little bit with the podcast. Like, tame those fears. Don't let fear get in your way, right? And let that energy of, like, all that fluttering. We all get it. I know I do, too. Let it become your power so that you can step forward in a whole brand new way. You're welcome, Cindy, over here. So we do have a beautiful energy coming in this week. Bring in that Venus energy, especially you Libras over here. Really harness that love energy. Go deeper in the relationships that you create. Be prepared. Make sure that you take time to rest. We're going to have a lot of shifting going on as we reach the latter part of the month. All right, everyone. Happy holidays, Easter, Passover, whatever you celebrate. Be sure to bring forward your spirit celebrating you. Taking a nice deep inhale. Exhaling all the way down. Gratitude for the spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit in whatever form that is for you. And just gratitude for setting those intentions for your week. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week. See you next time. To your spirit. To your spirit. <laughs>